it's not only humans who, of course, have been affected by the freezing weather, but our animals, they've been suffering as well, from domestic furry friends to livestock. Let's discuss this now further with Jacques Peacock from the SPCA and, of course, ways to uh, adopt in looking after animals in bad weather conditions. Thank you so much for your time, Jacques. Always great to have you on. Um, we know that it's been also a tough couple of days for our furry friends. Um, have you, what have you been hearing, you know, from people um, when it comes to their pets? Or, you know, has there been a, a lot of incidences or has it been smooth sailing? Good afternoon, Baron, and thank you so much for having us. Good afternoon to your viewers as well. Um, it certainly has been something that I don't think anyone in the country is used to. Uh, fortunately, uh, at least for livestock as well, um, on that long queue forming, historically we've been lucky that the provincial authorities uh, have allowed trucks uh, carrying livestock to proceed or at least find a way for them to proceed. And the farmers have, have historically as well taken upon themselves not to send out animals in these conditions. The issue with pets is, I think, you know, it, it, it relates to a, a, a much deeper problem in our society that the animals that would have been suffering uh, wouldn't necessarily be ones only suffering because it's cold. Um, the people who look after their animals uh, would have hopefully been proactive and taken more mitigating measures against the adverse weather. Uh, but unfortunately, the ones that might be suffering are the ones that are, for example, already on chains or who don't have adequate shelter uh, for favorable weather even, uh, or who do not have adequate food or water. So from our side, there haven't been uh, large outbursts of reports 